Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. I'm Bob Hartzler, and today we're gonna to talk about identifying weeds in the Polygonaceae family. Now generally we don't talk that much about plant families, but for some weeds it's really helpful. And the Polygonaceae, a lot of people call it the smart weed family, it is useful to know because they all have a very unique trait, which is called the ochria. And so we're gonna look first at uh, this curly dock, which is a, a perennial weed in the smart weed family. You don't find it in crop fields, but in waste areas. And it has the biggest ochria you'll ever see. And so this is the ochria. It's just this little membranous structure here that's found at the base of the leaf petioles where they join the stem. And every member of the smart weed family has that ochria. Usually they're not that big, but whenever you find a plant with ochria, you know you're dealing with something in the smartweed family. And that really simplifies identifying it because you can go to a weed ID book, go straight to the smartweed section, and find a weed that matches. And so, so that's curly dock. Now this here is Pennsylvania smartweed. It's an annual that invades crop fields. It's an early emerging annual. And its ochria are not nearly as noticeable as those on curly dock. But if you look closely, you can see it. And again, right here where the uh, petiole joins the stem. Now, a third smartweed weed, Polygonaceae, this is wild buckwheat. A lot of people see this plant, and they think it's either a morning glory or a bindweed because it's a vine uh, with arrowhead shaped leaves. But if you look closely here, you can see this ochria uh, at the place where that leaf is attached to the stem. And again, up here, very noticeable, uh, especially on the new growth. On older growth, a lot of times the ochria may dry up and fall off. But if you look at the new growth, you should be able to find that ochria. Now here is a plant that some people find and they mistake for something in the smartweed family. It has lanceolate shaped leaves, just like the smartweeds. Uh, and if you look at the structure, you can see this little membrane structure where that leaf joins the stem. Uh, but this is Asiatic dayflower, and this is not an ochria, that's actually part of the leaf. That's a leaf sheath. And if you can see, that sheath is how the Asiatic dayflower leaf attaches to the stem. Uh, and Asiatic dayflower uh, is a monocot. A lot of people would look at this and they think it's a dicot, a broadleaf weed, because it has leaves similar shape to, uh, you know, smartweed. But when you see that leaf sheath, that's a characteristic of monocots. And so most people are familiar with the leaf sheaths on grasses. Well, Asiatic dayflower is another uh, monocot. So that's just a brief description of the smartweed family, lots of weeds in that family, so it's useful to know that ochria trait that can really help you zone in on what weed you found. <laughs>